Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to fix egg salad. Well, the way that I fix it. This is the way that I was taught. I'm sure there's other ways, but this is the way that I was taught, and we're going to the lake tomorrow, so I'm going to fix egg salad to have egg salad sandwiches. And what I'm doing is I've got cold water here, and I'm just putting... I've already turned my um, in new wave induction cooktop on, and it's on sear, which would be on the stove, your high, and I'm fixing 18 eggs, so it's going to be a lot of egg salad, but I love egg salad, and I haven't fixed it in a long time, so this will, this will be good for three or four days. Um... I'm sure, but if we go to the lake tomorrow and everybody goes, it'll probably be gone then. But I'm just boiling 18 eggs. You can do as many as you want. It looks like that one's cracked, but it's not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these eggs come up to a boil and I'm going to let them boil for about five minutes and then I'm going to turn them off and I'm going to cover them and I'll bring you back when I get to that point. Okay, the eggs are boiling now so um, I'm going to let them boil for five minutes and then I'm going to turn them off and put the top on them and then I'll bring you back when I get to the next part. Okay, I'm back. Now these have been sitting, and this is kind of hot. I might have to get some. All right, I'm draining all the water out of them, and I have the top on them, and they're still very hot. But what I'm going to do before I put cold water in them is I'm going to take this, and let me see, I'm going to use a paper, couple paper towels. Uh-huh. Yep. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pot and I'm going to shake them because I want the eggs to break up, the shells to crack on them before I put them in cold water, if I can hold this right. So I'm just beating the eggs against the top, getting the water out. <laughs> and they're all broken now. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I've got to turn my cold water on. And I'm going to fill this with cold water. Of course, I'm going to wash the shells out of the top first. Boy, that one's just... See, they, when you do this, the shell just comes right off. That, see, the shell just peeled right off of that one. And when you put them in cold water like this, I'm going to let these sit for in the cold water. See, the shells are just coming right off of them. Look. See, they just peel yeah. right off if you break them like that and then put them in the cold water for a few minutes. So I'm going to keep them in here for a few minutes in the cold water. And then when I get... When that, I get to the next part, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. My eggs have already been peeled. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I take a potato masher. And I just mash my eggs up inside this bowl. Just like you would your mashed potatoes, but I'm not going <laughs> to make them like that. I mean, I still want their consistency, but I'll show you when I finish. Now, this is pretty much the way that I make deviled eggs, but I don't have the whites in there. I cut the whites in half and get the yellow out, but with this, I just mash up all the eggs and it's so easy <clears throat> and 
And Kathy gave me a dozen. These are store-bought eggs, but Kathy gave me a dozen of real chicken eggs. Her brother has chickens, and he sells his eggs, but of course he gives some to Kathy, and she gave a dozen to me. And I've never had real eggs. So I want to see if they're if I really taste any difference, but I'm going to use them with scrambled eggs, I think. Okay, so I think this is pretty chopped up. Let me make sure there's none down in the bottom. Yep, these are pretty chopped up. And I'm sad to say that when I fix egg salad, I don't use measurements. So you're going to have to guess. I'll tell you what you use, and I'll show you the, you the consistency of mine, and you can just judge, because I'm sure you're not going to fix 18 eggs and use 18 eggs for egg salad. All right, so there's just one big spoonful and there's two and I'm going to and I put and I just pour pickle relish this is Mount Olive sweet relish I don't know if you have Mount Olive but I'm sure you've got some kind of sweet relish near you and I just put in every how much I want and I'll probably be adding more but we'll see. Two big heaping spoonfuls of mayonnaise. And I gotta get all that stirred up. And I can already tell I've gotta have more pickles. But I gotta put mustard in it now. Alright, so I gotta shake my mustard up. Cause I like quite much mustard in here too so you should be able to see and that might be enough of the main things that I put in it you gotta stir it up real good and I just use regular yellow mustard I don't like spicy brown mustard or Dijon mustard or anything else in here besides yellow mustard and I do have to put some more sweet relish in here and I'm gonna have to buy some more in the summertime and at Christmas too I do use a lot of pickle relish because I fix deviled eggs and it's just so many dishes that you use pickle relish in. All right, now, because I've got this in here, I'm going to put just a little bitty, teeny, <laughs> maybe a, let me see. I'm just going to, you can see as I pour, but I'm not putting very much. I'm using my Splenda sweetener. Maybe a teaspoon in there. And then I'm going to put a little bit, and I probably a teaspoon of that too, of apple cider vinegar. Not very much of that at all. Right, let me get this all stirred up and I'll taste it and of course I will put kosher salt and coarse ground black pepper in this because those are my favorite I thought Walmart was going to stop selling the coarse ground black pepper because I couldn't get it for like two months I was having to go to Kroger and get it and they finally brought it back so, thank goodness, because I definitely 
do use that. Alright, so let me taste this and see if it's okay. See if I need anything else. Yeah, I've got to have some more mustard. Will you, <clears throat> you have me another spoon, please? A big spoon. Thank you. And I hope y'all can see this. Then I'm just going to, I'm not making a sandwich because I'm tasting this as I make it. So y'all will know. This is just, some people put weird things in their potato salad. I mean in their egg salad. I don't. <laughs> this is really, I really did put too much sugar in here so just put the next time just put for y'all if just taste it as you do it just start out with a little bit because it's true once you put too much of something in there you can't get it out so this still tastes okay but let me get one more taste of it Alright, by the time this cools off and chills off, it'll be fine. Here is my beautiful egg salad. And Kathy's going to take a taste of it and see if she likes it. It's probably too sweet. Oh my god, that is, oh wow. You like and it? I, yeah. I mean, I don't normally like pickles in it. That's amazing. Okay, well, here mm. it is. This is my egg salad, so when we go to Lake tomorrow, we're going to have egg salad sandwiches. Mm. So, I'm going to put the top on this, put it in the refrigerator. If you like this recipe, give it a try. It is awesome. I love egg salad. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy to make. So easy. So... If you like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you have a wonderful night, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!